we'll continue on. So open up the eye on Chrome 2 now. We're going to work on Chrome 2. Right click, blending options. Go over to your gradient overlay again. My computer's a bit slow, I apologize already. So gradient overlay, click on that. And again, we're going to use the whole black, white, black, gray, black, white, whatever look that, that you can see that I've got going on here. So you could just copy this if you want to. Yeah, when you're happy with that, just press OK. That will do. We'll put a bevel, <coughs> a bevel on that. Use a default setting. That's fine. Maybe even an inner shadow actually as well, just to give it that that smoother look. You don't actually have to do any of this if you don't want to, but yeah, we'll will. So press OK. Uh, create a new layer above that chrome. Um, control and select the chrome. Right click and merge those layers together. Hope you're with me so far. Right click on that, duplicate that layer, just press OK. Now we're going to go over to Filter, Sketch, and Chrome again. We'll just use the last settings that we saved. Press OK. Uh, go over to your layer style and then press Overlay. Well, go to Overlay, sorry. And as you can see already, straight away, you've got this nice chrome shiny effect. And again, this could you could stop this right here. That could end right there. That, look, that looks nice enough. But there is small little things that you can do to manipulate it. So if you open up Chrome 3, the Chrome 3 layer, um, we'll, just, we'll just start styling on them. So go over to your left, select your pen tool, click on the top left-hand corner, top right-hand corner. You can actually uh, stretch it down to bend it because what we're going to give is like a nice little sort of shine effect to the text. You can keep it straight. Again, if it wasn't for this tutorial, I would probably keep it straight because it, it will look nicer in this particular project that we're doing here. But just for the, the, sake, of, the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to bend it just to show what you can do. Um, as you can see, I went to the sort, I went, I right clicked on the pen tool, went to the sort of plus pen sign and just moved the, my paths a little bit. Go over to your paths, right click on that, go to stroke path and choose the eraser tool option and your eraser has to be thin in order for it this will erase however your erase option is on the normal page so anyways press ok right click and delete your path then go back to layers um, and now what we're going to do is delete all the white that's before the broken path on the left hand side so if you choose chrome free go over to your magic wand tool and just select all the white before the broken bits uh, click on it and then press delete so you're just keeping the sort of white uh, control D to deselect that you're just keeping the white on the corner go over to your opacity and bring that down you'll get a sort of slight shine effect and it's just the little things in design that that make the difference uh, at first so straight away it might look like nothing but it's those little things it's those little things in design that makes all the difference it does that does look pretty rubbish, but again, you can manipulate that and take your time. I've just highlighted all the layers, uh, dragged it down to the group and grouped them. Right-clicked on the group, duplicated the group, uh, created a new layer above group one. Now I can control and select group one, right-click, merge those layers. And what we're going to do is do a, a reflection effect now. <coughs> So just using your arrows, oh wait, wait, i tell you what, let me move that layer 3 down below group 1. Not in group 1, just below it. And just using your arrows, just tap down. Tap down on your arrows and we're going to create a sort of reflection on the chrome. As you can see, as we're tapping, it looks disproportionate. So if you press Control and T and just drag in the right side a little bit, 
dragging the left side a little bit yep apply that just click outside of the box or click on one of the buttons yeah apply and again just using your arrows manipulate that so it looks like an actual reflection as we can see here that's pretty much yeah go over to your opacity bring the opacity down and there you have it you've got your reflection on your chrome that again that is really it that's all you need to do on this you know that's your chrome done if you want to you can add another layer um you could put in I don't know what kind of brush settings you've got or what brushes you've got, but you could put in your little stars and spark sparkles and your uh, soft brushes and just give that sort of glittery effect. Again, it really depends on what you're trying what you're trying to achieve with with your chrome effect because at the moment that looks quite nice. You could keep it like that, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'll show you what you can do with your own brushes. But that's going to be me signing off. Um, you can continue watching the rest of it and all that. And I, I hope it's helped. I'm the worst teacher in the world. I've got hardly any patience as well. So I'm pretty damn rubbish. But hopefully this has helped you. And my next tutorial will be slightly better. I hope. See you later.